Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Emil Michael, the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, and I'm excited to address you at DARPA's Resilient Software Systems Colloquium. Though I couldn't be there with you today, I'm excited to express my commitment to strengthening our defense systems in an increasingly hazardous digital landscape where software vulnerabilities present a pressing danger that calls for our shared urgency and ingenuity. We're here to talk about something critical, securing the software that powers our nation's defense. You've heard the saying, software is eating the world, but we can't let malware and road actors eat the software. Let's talk about what's at stake. Software runs everything. Autonomous drones, navigating hostile skies, command systems, coordinating our forces, cybersecurity tools, safeguarding our networks, payroll systems, health systems, and our military infrastructure, you name it. It is literally the backbone of our defense enterprise. But every line of code is a potential target. Just last month, it was reported that a WordPress plugin flaw put over 100,000 websites at risk. In March, Microsoft patched 57 vulnerabilities, including six zero, day already, uh, zero days already being exploited. These aren't just glitches. They're national security threats. A single flaw could ground a mission, expose classified data, or cripple an energy grid. Our adversaries are relentless, so we need systems that are resilient for today's threats and ready and adaptable for tomorrow's conflicts. That's why we're taking decisive action alongside our partners in acquisition and sustainment and DARPA. As someone who spent years in the tech world, building partnerships and driving innovation, I've seen technology's incredible potential, but I've also seen how a single weak line of code can bring everything crashing down. That's why I'm committed to leading R&E to make our systems not just advanced, but unbreakable. To achieve this, we must leverage cutting edge tools and collaboration. Over the past decade, DARPA and its partners have transformed power, former methods powerful mathematical tools that rigorously verify software's freedom from flaws into accessible and practical solutions than ever before. These advancements enable us to scale secure software systems across all DOD, from legacy platforms to cutting edge AI and hypersonic technologies, defending our digital landscape. Yet, we're not fully, we have not fully harnessed this potential across the defense industrial base and DOD leaving critical vulnerabilities unaddressed. To solve this problem, we collaborated with CISA, DARPA, and NSA to release a pivotal report called Closing the Software Understanding Gap. As software transforms warfare, our Closing the Software Understanding Gap report is a proactive strategy to prevent adversaries from exploiting vulnerabilities. It outlines measures to enhance software security, particularly for AI-driven systems, ensuring resilience in communication, energy grids, and beyond from the outset. It's a proactive, not reactive blueprint for resilience from the ground up. This report gives us a clear path forward, but strategies alone aren't enough. Plans require action, and that action starts with collaboration, and that is what's happening here. This forum is incredibly important and rare, to unite over 300 leaders in DOD, industry, academia, tool developers, allies, and media for a single track program fosters the kind of collaboration we need to address the critical software challenges before us, and it is the catalyst we need. Our goal today, to inspire widespread adoption of high assurance formal methods, whether developed by DARPA or not, through use cases, lessons learned, and best practices, We've shown how this strengthens cyber resiliency, reduces costs, and simplifies processes like securing authority to operate. And by now, you've seen these dynamic poster sessions and networking opportunities. You've connected with tool developers and users, which continue to build partnerships that drive innovation. I hope this event has informed and inspired you to adopt high assurance formal methods, which verify software to eliminate flaws enhancing cyber resiliency, and sim simplifying processes like, uh, like securing authority to operate. 
To sustain this momentum, DARPA, DARPA is taking a bold step by launching a new initiative to fund joint proposals between developers and users. This initiative will embed formal methods into critical systems, ensuring they're secure and reliable. I want these formal methods to become the DOD's gold standard for cybersecurity because they rigorously verify software eliminating exploitable flaws. But this, just, this isn't just about new tools, it's about changing how we think. This requires a cultural shift towards secure by design principles, and I'm urging r and &E to make it happen. We must design solutions with the end in mind, systems that are bulletproof from the day one, no shortcuts. Inspired by closing the Software Understanding Gap report, we're embedding security into every phase of development. This means updating DOD acquisition requirements to hold accountables, uh, contractors accountable for delivering resilient systems. The stakes are high, and recent events prove it. In April, a funding glitch nearly disrupted MITRE's common vulnerabilities and exposures database, a reminder of how fragile our cybersecurity ecosystem can be. The Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering is committed to supporting critical program, programs like CVE, but we can't do it alone. We need your expertise. Looking ahead, these methods will fortify both new and legacy systems against future threats from AI-driven attacks to quantum computing. Let's make secure by design the standard, matching our defenses to our ambitions. Let me end on a personal note. My career in tech was about turning ideas into reality through collaboration and relentless focus. As your undersecretary, I'm bringing that same passion to USD r &E. Whether it's partnering with CISA, DARPA, and NSA, supporting events like this colloquium, or pushing for secure by design principles, I'm all in on making our defense systems unbreakable. I know the talent in this room, that your expertise and your innovation can make this happen. Together, we'll ensure our warfighters have the secure, reliable systems they need to keep our nation safe, and that we will prevent threats against our national security for years to come. Thank you for your dedication, your commitment, and your time. Let's seize this moment and get to work.